think I had one that was working. But yeah, other than that, I'm about to start it up. This thing been sitting for like two months, so let's see if it starts up. We got the 347 with the FireTech fuel injection. It's on E85, um, 347, 11 and a half to one. It's got AFR heads, hydraulic roller cam. It should make about 450 maybe, 450 horsepower. But yeah, we're trying to get it running. We done tore up three rear ends because it's a stick shift, so. Let's see if it starts. clutch it's got cow tracks on it uh, split model leafs got the cow tracks but other than that this one should be a pretty cool street friendly car i said it's a stick shift so anything with a stick shift you're gonna have fun in but yeah so that's pretty much it about this one but we done tore two four eight inch rear ends so we got a nine inch we're gonna put in there now we got some rims we're gonna change, try on. I think it has a uh, magnifold bullet mufflers. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty fun, I think it got three inch exhaust too, so. But yeah, I built this motor too. Everything built by me, so. Y'all want me to build y'all motor, hit me up. I ain't gonna break the bank. <laughs> That's pretty much it for this one. Y'all know about the El Camino, the LS motor, LS powered El Camino, so. <clears throat> Who did the paint job on this one? I did the paint job on both of these. Did the paint job on this one, that one. Each time I'll be trying to take my time, so it take me about a little bit, about a year, maybe do both, do the body work and everything. But both of these cars was definitely not a work in the, wasn't a walk in the park. These bad boys look like they belonged at the junkyard. This one was underneath the tree for seven years with the door open. So, and I guess whoever had it dropped a tree on the front of it, so it had bumped with the whole quarter panel, the fender, the doors was messed up, but. Other than that, I was able to bring everything back to life. Same thing with this one. This one was sitting outside in the rain for about 10 years. So everything was routed out on it. So I had to kind of put patch panels on the quarter panels and on the fenders. But yeah, other than that, everything else came out pretty clean. We got another mystery car too. We're gonna put that big block in. So if y'all can guess what the big block is going in, I'll send y'all a free Dion hoodie with a sticker. <laughs>